designed for you. This is this should make you upset. It's designed for you. Because just because you want to say it, don't mean that they have to let you say it. How is it that they let you say it? They know the power of music, bro. We don't. That's how we fall into the game and the trick. This is why music is where it is. And the only people that's going to break it out and breathe it back into life are the independent minds. But you cannot run on that same format that killed it. Do not. I want to see you successful. But you can't go into this thing wanting to be successful with a mindset or a matrix type thinking of why it got shut down in the first place. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're not dedicated to try to lead or inspire in some type of way through your music, I'm telling you right now, you might as well stop. It'll never bear fruit, I promise you. Don't let them dudes who on the radio that you see in videos now make you think you can make it through with that bullshit. You can't. They chosen for a reason. To make you think that that's the way it's supposed to go. You see? The quickest way, I'll be honest, I ain't gonna lie to you. I promise to God. Start respecting your women, man. It's because of them, the best gift God can give you is your child yeah. outside your life. So it's through them that that gift comes. Any other blessing you ask them for is nothing that can top that. compared to that. So if you don't take care of that first, anything you ask ain't going to turn into nothing, bro. I'll tell you that right now. I'm giving you the keys to success that are last. Not 11, 29. Not a one-hit wonder. Money that you don't even have to show up to get. That's true. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? They'll love you. J. Cole is on because he's his self. He's good. I love him. Yeah. See what I'm saying? He's straight to the point. Yeah. I, 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 just be yourself. He, I mean, he just keep it. I was watching the show that he was on, the show called Sign. Yeah. I mean, he just like, uh, everybody else was on some other stuff, but he was just straight serious. He, he, he just kept it raw. It's real. Just kept it raw and real. And see, that's what's going on now with today's music now because <clears throat> somebody done told some asshole that this shit sound good and it's banging and it actually ain't making no sense you know but what i look for and with these now i think we have that that understanding mm -hmm. like why do mostly the artists like to perform in strip clubs i think that's the way that's gonna break their music a lot of them just feel if i can get my music jumping off in the strip club it's gonna take off from them. Mm -hmm. That's where they mind at. But they don't. They don't think. Hey, I, I, I really need to go out here and work. You know what I'm saying? You really. Nineties generation. Uh, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna even just say nineties. It's it, it's just a lot of lazy artists. You know, and you can't be lazy or stupid in this game. Period. I don't care how stupid or dumbed down somebody lyrics may sound. They're not stupid. I mean, a lot of these artists, that get, like me, I'm a straight, I rap like I talk. Yeah. But I'm yeah. far from stupid. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very intelligent. And if you get me to the point where I need to discuss some business, I'll tell you, look here, hold on, I'll talk to you about this at another time when my mental is right because I'm not going to go try to make no bad deals, no bad business. A lot of people, you got you to gotta stay focused. It's you... All your brain, you sell yourself, you pimping yourself. Yeah. This just how you feel about our experience in the strip club. I feel like because the strip club is basically all over media, um, I looked at a lot of music videos and a lot of the settings are in the strip clubs. So that mindset is, all right, I got to get to the strip club. Not knowing that some of the songs that they're performing is not strip club material to get the crowd jumping. Um, what a strip was the strip shit. You feel me? <laughs> so, <laughs> so like some of their material is actually something that you know they have to go maybe to a showcase. So 
they can network better because the music that maybe you're providing is not really for strippers. Yeah, and it's, six sales, man. <coughs> six sales, six sales, sales, man. Facts. That's what it is. Just to get off the top of my dome because that's one thing that America media has always pushed as well, mm -hmm. sex. But, but, Go ahead. but in this aspect, that does, it don't help, unless the strip club is paying you, that don't help the artist. Yeah. It's just like you said earlier, it's about followers. Because we hear Lil Wayne always talk about some King of Diamonds and okay, you hear all the stuff in You're emulating. Mm -hmm. yep. When you see the big dogs come to the strip club, the strip club paid them to come. Mm -hmm. So the local dude think, oh, if I get to perform there exactly. too, then. He's been this bro, bad. No, mm -hmm. this is, this is, this goes back to the, to the dude that posted the comment about if Drake come to someone, that's an illusion, that's, that's an illusion. Yeah. To even yeah, see you yourself, your, yeah, yeah, you not, that's yourself not even, Drake. that's Michael Jordan. High school. I don't even know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, yeah. come on, yeah. bruh, stop. But, but. 90% of the artists see that. They look at themselves as way, that way. You can be, I can be, I'll be confident as an artist all you want. But how confident you, how confident are you in yourself in business? Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a difference in being confident in yourself and feel like you're entitled to something. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing about well, that. A lot of them think they're entitled, you know, um, but nobody know you. That, that, Who that, are you right now? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not entitled to nothing. You, you gonna pay your way until you are somebody, and then they gonna pay you. I ain't gonna lie, cause half of them maybe want to ask them like, "Damn, um, um, what radio station are you on again? Uh, you know, what, what do y'all look for in like, in return that the promoter can do better to make y'all interested in um, performing more at their, their, at their events?" Organization. Mm -hmm. Yes. Organization. Yeah, elaborate on that more about organization. If you, if I'm coming to your show, whether I'm paying is free or what, this is a business. You expect me to handle myself in a in a certain manner. I need you to do the same in return. Don't tell me the show start at nine and it start at eleven thirty. Mm -hmm. Tell me people got one song and they doing fifteen, doing a whole album on 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 the stage. Mm -hmm. Oh, because this is this is your homie. They, they get special privilege. No, everybody, everybody paying their way, and everybody is working to the same goal. So treat everybody the same. Start your events on time, and do what you say you're gonna do. That's all. That's all artists want. Look, a nice place, and please, good sound systems. Yeah, <laughs> sound check. Mics at work. <laughs> because that is a big part of your show. Because if you get on stage and the sound system is whack, the mics is whack, it's going to make you sound bad. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you get frustrated artists, you know, like, I, I just, you know, there's just a few things I, 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 just, I agree with the same. Yeah. Definitely. Um, start on time. If you say 9 p.m., <laughs> man, 9.30, there should be an artist on stage performing. Okay? I don't want to be here all the way at 11-something, people start to perform. And let's be real. A lot of these artists, they have a job. You know what I mean? So they, they got to make ends meet. So they probably, some of these artists are coming to the event, and they know <laughs> they got work in the morning. So, one you feel me? One and in an event, it really starts what, 11, 12, and then there's artists performing all the way to like 3, 4 in the morning. Yeah. And then they got to go to work. Mm -hmm. But because the grind, they're going to do it. To, to, to piggyback on that, um, all that, plus, um, don't have like 50 fucking artists. That's like, true. Man, a good 12, that might be too. 50, 12, 15 or something, you know what I'm saying? Cause every time I done went dead, I done went first, and I done went dead fucking last when ain't nobody in there but me, and my boy, bartender, mm -hmm. and the and the and the promoter. Hell, you know what I'm talking about? Like shit, but they got the show. You feel me? Like you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get it. But one thing, I but that organization goes along with 
one How thing many artists I, is on there too? I've noticed within it all too. Like everybody when they go to when these artists go to this showcase, everybody wanna be heard. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanna be seen. One thing I don't like is you got some of these artists, yeah, okay, they get ten people to come up with them, but at the same time, like stay. Hear the other talent, see the other talent. Because I'm only in here watching your ass because you just happen to go before me. <laughs> like, like, but at the same time, I'm giving you that common courtesy. I'm giving you, I'm respecting your craft. That, that, that's I'm giving you respect as an artist. Because yeah, yeah. it takes a lot of confidence to get up there in front of a room full of people and even perform your song because you don't know who's going to so, like it and you don't, go, you don't so. know who ain't going to like it. Mm. But at least if you turn around and you got an artist that's bringing 10 people, when they come to the door, they 10 people. Hey, I understand now. If you got another event to get to, that's one thing. That's completely understandable. But if you ain't got nowhere else to be, hey, at least stick around and check out at least like five more artists or try to stay to the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I get them, get them that respect, Show that common love. courtesy, yeah. that yeah. same Show love, because yeah. everybody yeah. want to be seen and everybody want to be heard. Like I got a 21 year old, um, she just started rapping and she wants to do it big too. And that's one thing I'm trying to get her to understand. Like when you come to a show, stay, because people's waiting to perform so show the same courtesy yeah, when somebody yeah. performing don't be on your phone like pay attention Respect you can you can learn something too you could yeah. pick up i could pick up something from you 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 we not like yeah we competing to a to a certain level but it's like we could all learn from each other yeah. so if we go to a show and it's like okay i'm gonna perform i'm done and i leave that's not that's not cool because then yeah. when you come when you get up there it's like there's nobody there and all this stuff i just show respect when people done stay for you and stuff like that, that that's oh, all that is. Yeah. yeah, sure. Like yeah. to piggyback on, on what he said before, you know, I've it's been times I done did shows, get in there in the club, pack and get in there in the end. It's like, damn, I can see the paint on the wall. Like, we might as well just cut the <laughs> lights on and I don't even need the mic because it's just one or two, three people in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, I'm gonna start with you, Rhymes. I'm, I'm trying to understand. Why do you wear the mask? What What's the story behind the mask? My mask is pretty much for social anxiety. Like, I feel comfortable behind the mask. I don't have to be myself. I can be mm -hmm. the rapper persona that I am. So that's why I wear the I wear the mask. And it draws people in, too. People will see the mask, oh, what's going on? And then sometimes when I'm at a showcase, they'll want to stay because they want to see what I'm going to do when I get on stage. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, it's an attention grabber and it helps. It's like when rappers wear shades and stuff like that. People hide behind the shades, ain't got to look at nobody. And it's the same thing for me with the mask. Mm -hmm. That's just all it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vicious. Well, how did you come up with the name Vicious as an artist name? Vicious, the Vicious. Um, how it happened when I was younger, I used to go by Creek. And that stands for cool, rhyme, entertainer, enlightening people. And um, I added the vicious because my friend, he was like listening to music. He was like, yo, that's vicious what you're saying. Like every track. And I was like, yeah. So I just added that. I eventually dropped the creep and I just kept the vicious. Okay. What is something in your music that pot, that's positive that would inspire uh, a kid that's in school now that sees you and listens to your music that wants to like you know what what what, what is it about your music that would inspire them? Well, I talk about everything. Uh, I get political. Um, I talk about things that we eat, better your diet. Um, I also talk about uh, you know the streets as well. Um, I'll talk about the dope game. I'll talk about the good things about the dope game, and I'll talk about the bad things that come with the dope game. The problem with the world today, you hear about the dope game and a lot of rappers, they don't tell you the negative things that come with right. this. They don't tell you the football number years you get messing with the dope game. So, you know. Mine, it's all... How'd you come up with the name the City Boy? For one, I'm born in the city. So, City Boy. And I'm Slim, so that's how City Boy Slim came about. But for as leading, I have a daughter, so 
my thing is if I'm leading my daughter to do right, then I have to lead anybody else to do right. So you say you got a daughter. So yes. is there anything in your music that will be degrading towards women knowing that you have a daughter? No. Only because I was raised by my mother and my grandmother and don't get me wrong, I got uncles and brothers. And I also got a sister. So I was always taught you treat your woman how how your mother or how your grandmother treat you. And knowing that, no, my black women are my queens. I love them. I love them. Oh my God, I love them. All right. Um, Mr. C, how did you come up with the whole name? Charles Soul. Charles Soul. Bang, bang. <laughs> yeah. I'm Ace Town Roots, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, how you, I mean, how long have you been here in Miami, first of all? All right. Five years. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. From Miami, then. Is it I ain't got my, I ain't got my. I tease them about that all the time. Yeah, uh, I, ain't, I ain't got my citizenship yet from okay, Miami. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but as an artist, how did you come? Like, so is that your legal name? You just shorting it up? That's why they call you Mr. C? Or Part, partially. Right. Yeah, okay. it's a part of my. And so name. what is, I mean, I love that song. I like the way you do that, that. You know, what inspired you, like, to come up with that song? Like, Really, I just seen this chick. Yeah, I was like, damn, I'm like, why you do that? And we just made a whole song out of it, you know? I like, like, it. I I just like, I like the way you do it, you know, no matter yeah. what you're doing, how you're doing it, you know, we all have flowers, but your flowers is beautiful, so I like the way you do that. I like know? that, That's I it. like that. Um, Mr. Eddie? Um, how did you, oh, so that your, is that Eddie your B, name? yeah, my, 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 um, it's like my original alias, you know what I'm saying? I'm my real name is Eddie, but Eddie B is somebody different, you know what I'm saying? I'm I I, can't, I got a lot of pride. I'm a third generation Barry, you know what I'm saying? So Eddie B is a whole another different type of nigga, you know what I'm saying? So cool, calm, collected, you know what I'm saying? Um, shit, our um boss man is just not something that we throw out there, you know what I'm saying? Right. Really. Being observed and self sufficient. Right. If you exactly. observe and self sufficient, that's our acronym for boss. Exactly. Being okay. observed and self sufficient. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Anybody in here, if you observe and self sufficient, you're a boss. You keep, you exactly. conduct yourself, As you know what I'm saying? Uh, yes. Manner, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you conduct yourself to your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? It's time to be corporate, be corporate when you can be gutter street or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm well versed in, I try to be well versed. You know what I'm saying? I don't, Claim that I know everything. I'm always willing to learn. Listen, you know what I'm saying. So that's why I'm quiet. That's you know what I'm part of being the boss. Soaking it in. You, you, know what I'm you, talking you about? never get complacent. You never think you know more than everybody else. You never think you know everything. Mm-hmm. You can always learn something from somebody. I don't care how old they are, how young they are, what gender they are, anything like that. It don't matter. You can always get knowledge from somebody, and you need to. You know, know when to take heed to to good advice and good knowledge and yeah. and, and, and surround yourself with good vibes. You know, if, if the vibe ain't there, then you don't need to be there either. That, that's know? that's what we learned, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, when shit, motherfuckers leave out on us and doing our show, shit, we used to leave out, you know what I'm talking about? But we learned from somebody else, you know what I'm saying? At the showcase in Houston, show love, get love. He was up there preaching that shit as an artist. You know, I think it was like his coming out party, but you know what I'm saying, like a release album or something like that. But that day, you know what I'm saying, kind of stuck with us. You know what I'm saying? We like, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? We don't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't all about I for now, cause we used to do that. But you know what I'm saying? Show love, get love. That it stayed with us. And shit, after shows after that, it just been like, bro, shit, you ready now? Nah, we, we we gonna stay, we gonna stay. Let's show. Over time, by the time we got here, shit, we mean city boy and vicious and shit like that. All because either we go on before them, but it been times that we went after them, they still stayed. We start networking, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nonsense and Tilla K yeah, and yeah, I am yeah, Kevin Love, you know what I'm talking about? All that, all that is because we met these people, not because we went on first, because we stayed, lingered, talked, networked. Man, I like, I like how you do that, man. Y'all do that good. Shit, let's, let's, let's link up, you know what I'm talking about? And shit, the rest is history. We, we here, you know what I'm saying? We find ourselves, it ain't none of this is planned, you know what I'm saying? We find ourselves running into that 
do right there all the time. You know what I'm saying? What do you see as an artist? What do you see as an artist? Yeah. Where do you guys see yourself two years from now? 